Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a video here today to show you guys how I shrink wrap my books and why it's important that you should too. Basically, here's a few tools that you obviously have to have. Right here I have a roll of 75 gauge polyelefin center fold shrink wrap. I prefer polyelefin to PVC because the fumes are much safer. Um, not that you should be breathing in any fumes because it should be kind of ventilated, which is why I'm right by the window. And you want to use the center fold because this is already sealed and this side is open. The impulse sealer that I use is 16 inch and that's because it will allow for a 12 inch roll. Um, you could probably go up a little bit more even to a 14 inch or so, but uh, this just lets you have a little bit more room. It just gives you a little bit more range of motion here. Next thing of course you need is some scissors. Another thing you need is the heat gun to actually shrink wrap it. Um, this of course will shrink the wrapping around it so that it's nice and tight. And another thing very important uh, so that you don't start a fire or anything, you gotta have some sort of a plate. In this case, uh, this is ceramic, it's a corning wear thing, this will do very nicely. So first things first, pull this part out. Next thing you do is line it up right about here, so that you got maybe about an inch or so. Next thing you do is press this down, and you should hear a little click after a few seconds, and that'll tell you that the seal is done. Pull it forward just a little bit, maybe an inch or so, and then seal it down again. And that will create the next seal, as you can see here, for the next book. Next thing you want to do is just cut it right down the middle. Generally speaking, if I'm doing a whole bunch at once, I do that stage first, and I let them pile up real high into a stack like that. Um, and then I go through and seal them off one at a time. That way I don't have to constantly be moving this around and moving it back and forth. Um, and also that way, I can do this with one hand. I just grab the books with the other hand. Uh, and I just push this down and I've already got the scissors in my hands. Next thing I do is uh, I've got the book, I sealed this side up, and now what I do, and this is pretty pretty important, see how there's just a little bit of space right there? Uh, if you look at the actual seal, as you can see it's right there in the corner. I like to just snip this out a little bit, just to give the book a little bit of air. Um, if you're storing a book for a long period of time, sometimes it can have some issues, and this just lets it breathe a little bit. So as you can see, I cut that off, now it can breathe a little bit, now like I said before, I like to take a whole stack like this and kind of just take the heat gun to a whole side of it. I put it on the high setting and I keep it about this distance, which is about 6 inches, 7 inches. And I just kind of go up. And it's not exactly perfect, but it doesn't have to be. We'll touch everything up later. And just go over to the other side. As you can see, this doesn't really take that long. And it's important to make sure that you keep moving it because you don't want it to uh, stay still at any one point because then it'll kind of rip a hole through it and then that, you know, you gotta redo the whole thing and that's kind of a pain. So uh, keep a distance from it a little bit and uh, you can always just go over it again to make sure that you get the shrink wrap successfully. As you can see, we're almost done on that side. Next thing, I take the setting. As you can see, there's two settings. I just turn it onto the lower setting. And I kind of just go like this. Next I flip it over, kind of just get it. You don't want to be too close, you really want to move it around very quickly because it'll get very hot very quickly. Another thing is, see how there's the label? You got to be really careful about that because if that gets too hot, uh, it is actually a thermal label. So it will mess it up and they won't be able to scan it when it gets to the warehouse. So do make sure that you're very careful with that. Next thing you can do is uh, just go over this really, really carefully and make sure it's all set. In this case, uh, this book is basically all done and it's even got a little spot right here uh, just for it to breathe. Now the reason that we shrink wrap books basically um, you want to make sure that you shrink wrap books because it'll protect it from the elements really uh, anything can happen to your book really and uh, if you get it wet then that's of course a problem this will protect it from moisture, this will protect it from dust and dirt I've heard about things happening at the Amazon warehouse where like uh, you know just junk gets on your stuff and if a customer gets it like that then uh, they're not going to be too happy so this will protect it from that and also um, if this falls on the ground or something the book is going to be more likely to kind of you know be held together it's not gonna it's not gonna like fall um, open or something like that so that's something to consider and uh, the other thing of course is if it's shrink wrapped then it's gonna be more of a positive experience than if it wasn't shrink wrapped so it's just you know just a, just another leg up on your competition something to consider uh, I would highly recommend shrink wrapping books that are in like new condition or better. 
or if they're worth maybe about $35 or more. If you're wondering about the supplies, I have a link down below. You can, you can check it out. If you found this video useful and you want to help support this channel, uh, any purchase through Amazon through the link below will help me out. I greatly appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please leave me a comment down below, and uh, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Check me out on Facebook at Picking Profits, and my website at PickingProfitsBlog.com. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll talk to you later.